Hi everybody, I'm Helen and you're watching Los Angeles English School YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at abbreviations and acronyms that you will need to know for texting. So I'm currently working from home more and more and I get a lot of text messages. So and I noticed that abbreviations and acronyms are so common in texting. So in this video, we'll take a look at a lot of abbreviations in acronyms and but I've tried to choose the most common ones. Also a reminder for you, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified of all our upcoming videos. Also, if you want to practice your English, make sure to visit our website. We have very good um, syllabus for speaking English and also for IELTS and TOEFL preparation. So if you got interested, make sure to check the links. Uh, I'll put them in the video, in the description, sorry, below the video. Okay, so as I promised, let's take a look at abbreviations and acronyms for text messages. All right, so first let's take a look at some contractions which are used in texting. So contractions, these are just short forms of the words. Let's get started. So the first contraction is this one. What do you think um, this means? I'm pretty sure that it's very easy because this is a very common contraction and this word is uh, because, cause because. How about this one? T-H-O stands for though. Though. P-L-Z. I'm sure you know this. It means please. Tomorrow. So this is the contraction of tomorrow. You actually write down the number and then M-O-R-O, -O, tomorrow. This stands for tonight. This word would mean wait. This is a short form for okay. Actually, O and K, it's already the short version of the word OK, but you even can write down just K, which means OK. C U. So basically, instead of writing C U, like two words, you can just write the letters C and U. Try to guess this one. It stands for got to go or gotta go. So instead of writing I have got to go, you can just write G to G, which stands for gotta go. Okay, so now I have some abbreviations or acronyms. So abbreviation, it's when you have um, first letters of uh, the words. So for example, here we have IDK, which stands for I don't know. So instead of writing I don't know, you just write down first letters of the words IDK, I don't know. So let's guess the, guess the next word. AFAIK would mean as far as I know. ASAP can also be said like ASAP and you actually can use it in speaking as well. This is an acronym. Acronym, it's when you actually can pronounce the word like ASAP and this means as soon as possible. Let me know ASAP. Let me know as soon as possible. LMK means let me know. LMK ASAP, let me know as soon as possible. BFF means best friend or best friends forever. We are BFF, it's my BFF. JK stands for just kidding. LOL 
is very common. It's laughing out loud. So something is very funny. I'm laughing out loud. BRB means be right back. Be right back. BRB. NBD is not a big deal. Not a big deal. NBD. So let's move on to some more abbreviations. BTW, by the way. TBA, to be announced. To be announced, it's kind of you don't have the information yet. Maybe you don't know the date yet. Maybe you don't have results yet. So you can say TBA, which means to be announced. NA, not available. DM stands for direct message. By the way, DM can be used as a noun and as a verb. Direct message me. Send me a DM. FYI, for your information. IMO, in my opinion. IIRC, if I remember correctly. OTOH, on the other hand. SNH, shaking my head. Shaking my head, so you would, you would say this if, for example, you were surprised or taken aback by somebody or something, or maybe disappointed, like, oh no, I'm shaking my head. So, SNH, shaking my head. So let's go to some more. POV, point of view. What's your POV? What's your point of view? TTYL, talk to you later. TY, thank you. However, I wouldn't recommend that you use this abbreviation for thank you. So if you really want to show that you appreciate something or somebody, I would recommend that you write thank you as a full word. Thank you. F-O-M-O. -O. You also can say FOMO. For example, I have FOMO, which means fear of missing out. You can say that you have FOMO. For example, if you are on Instagram and you're watching some videos or maybe photos of your friends or co-workers and you are not there, so you kind of you're missing out, you can have this feeling that, oh, I'm missing out something, so I have FOMO. So, F-O-M or FOMO, fear of missing out. I-R-L in real life. I want to see you IRL. I want to see you in real life, which means not online, but in reality. YSK, you should know. TIA, thanks in advance. WFH, work from home. ELI5 means explain like I'm five. So you would say ELI5 if you don't understand something, it's very hard for you to get it and you can say, please, really, it's, it's, it's so hard for me. Explain like I'm five, ELI5. Okay, so now we're going to have a little practice. You will see a short text message and you need to think um, how you would read it, okay? So the first one. Sorry, got to go. Talk to you later. Call me as soon as possible. Or you can even say, call me ASAP. A-F-A-I-K, she, W-F-H. As far as I know, she works from home. Okay, the next one. Don't get it, E-L-I-5. Don't get it, explain like I'm five. 
can't believe it. S M H. Can't believe it. Shaking my head. Like, oh no, shaking my head. I I R C your B F F. If I remember correctly, your best friends forever. DM me PLZ. Direct message me, please. IMO, he's a really professional designer. And what's your POV? In my opinion, he's a really professional designer. And what's your point of view? You're on IG all the time. You may have FOMO. You're on Instagram all the time. By the way, IG stands for Instagram. You may have fear of missing out. LMK, when you get there, PLZ. Let me know when you get there, please. AFAIK, she's gonna be here to M O R O. As far as I know, she's gonna be here tomorrow. I'll try to be there to N I T E, but I D K if I'll make it T H O. I'll try to be there tonight, but I don't know if I'll make it though. BTW, I enjoyed the movie. TY. By the way, I enjoyed the movie. Thank you. YSK, they really liked your portfolio and want to see you IRL. You should know they really liked your portfolio and want to see you in real life. FYI, he's from NY. See you. For your information, he's from New York. See you. So that's it for today and I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you really liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done this yet. Also, I'm encouraging you to visit our website, which I will link in the comment, um, in the description, sorry, below the video. Also, I am encouraging you to practice abbreviations and acronyms in text messages. To do so, leave me a message in the comments below the video using abbreviations or acronyms or short forms from this video and I'll check all of your comments. So, thanks very much for being with me today. Special thanks for everyone who watched the video till the end. So, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys!